Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video of bullying at her last jumping show before we head over to the Thoroughbred Makeover. That's little Evelyn there. And we are at the Hamilton Hunt Club Jumper Show. Evelyn just hanging out with us at the show as well. And her super cute little overalls. Goodness gracious, they're adorable. So first up, Bling went for a jump around in the 2-6 division with my student, Emily. And so Emily normally rides Pentland, who was actually my field hunter horse in the makeover in 2016. And uh, so she owns him, but he was lame and unable to go to the show with her. So she decided um, that she would give Bling a try. So she's actually only rode Bling in one lesson prior to this show. And so this is them going around in their first 2-6 round. Uh, it's 2-3 two, to 2-6. Two, and even though it's not super perfect and super pretty, what I love about it is Bling is just being super honest and going at all of the jumps and uh, going really well with Emily, who is just in her first year doing a circuit of the jumper shows. And she, um, this was her first year doing kind of like a complete circuit and working on that kind of stuff. And I think she is 16 years old. So uh, Bling packing her around, super duper honest. And they're having a fun time. So they um, they did pretty well. They, they did get a rail down in a couple of their courses just because they don't really know each other that well. And so their strides aren't really all that perfect. But um, all in all, she did really, really honest with her and had really nice um, rhythm with her. So I was pretty pleased with that. Like you can see, she chipped that fence there and ended up knocking the rail and just kind of landing, landing on a crossfire. So then it was my turn to take Bling in, and this is the 2-9, which is the, the highest division that they do at the Hamilton Hunt. And we know for Field Hunter at the makeover, the fences are going to be up to 3 feet. So I want to make sure that she's comfortable with that height. Now, it is a fair bit of jumping for her to do in one day. Uh, when they're not super fit either, uh, even though they're just pretty little jumps that she was doing with Emily and then here doing the 2-9 with me. So we started off pretty good and we had really nice clear round and then into our next round we ended up with a rail down and she was just starting to get a little bit tired as the courses went on, so that's totally understandable, especially since we did cross-country schooling just a couple more days before that. But all in all, She's going around pretty smoothly, and we're really just trying to work on our striding together, really trying to make sure that we're on the same page, because we haven't done a whole lot of jumping together in the whole scheme of things uh, compared to, you know, what we might do uh, if we had more time. We would have spent more time schooling on different things, but all in all, we're just focusing okay. on rhythm and balance and just seeing if we can... <laughs> figure out and get on the same page and one of the little yeah. tips I'll give you guys is as I'm riding into a fence I try to look for my takeoff spot by kind of thinking okay where's my three two one and so in my head I'm constantly saying three 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 and then I'd be like three two one and jump so that way it helps me find my spot and kind of count down my strides as I go. So we're kind of going around here. And as I'm coming up to a fence, I'm just kind of thinking, where is that takeoff spot going to be? And I try not to pick up my horse as they're coming into the fence. I try to just kind of ride the distance that I see and mostly just try to go with the horse uh, with that. And then if I see that it's going to be a long spot, I might push a little bit. Especially when I have a horse that's a little bit green over fences. I don't want to push them too much because that will actually kind of make them get a little bit more nervous of the whole situation. So anyways, uh, we're going around there and I actually struggled with it. I'm going to blame it on mom brain. Green! That's a real thing and you get forgetful. Um, but in two of my courses, I actually forgot what? where I was going and had to kind of pull off a little bit I don't know if she can figure out where I was headed. But overall, we've got a little bit of uh, distances that were sometimes a little bit off on, but she's super duper honest and kind of goes over no matter what I point her at anyway, so that's pretty nice. 
And then here's a look um, as we're kind of going around and she gets in a little bit more tired at this point. And we've got a, another course to go after this. And you can see she's still really honest and kind of going up over the fences. Uh, doesn't really have the energy to put into the flying lead change there. So I kind of slow her down a fair bit and really rebalance her with the half halt. I still want to make sure that she is getting her correct leads. I want to kind of reinforce to her being accurate. I'm really happy with that turn on that one right there. I uh, want her to just be really smooth to the bridle and really willing for where I want her to go. I know when I go to Kentucky at the makeover, we're going to have quite a few challenges probably that they're going to throw at us. Uh, some of the jumps are going to be far apart and then some of them there might have to be some interesting turns or approaches to and we have no idea how scary they're going to be or anything like that. So I just want to see that she's super willing no matter where we go. And you can see we get a rail down there, just kind of a lazy rail. And uh, up and over the fence here and we're on the wrong lead, but then she did a flying lead change there as we kind of came in front of the camera and swapped out. Uh, there I kind of got her back end there. And so as we're going around, I'm kind of gauging in my horse, you know, what's her energy level. And as we come into this course here, she's just really, really tired. I could feel, you know, she knocked the first rail and then the second one there I could feel was just kind of a bigger effort for her. So I made the decision not to finish the last course and instead thought, you know what, I'm training for field hunter. I don't need to drill this horse into the ground. And so we're going to practice a halt instead. And then we're going to try doing a side pass to the fence and lower the rail because that's one of the things that you get asked for in Field Hunter where you actually have to go up and knock down a fence. So instead of kind of pushing her to finish the last few jumps when she's already shown that she's super honest and willing and all of those pieces were all fine, there's no point finishing out that last course. So I just side pass up and knock it over. They definitely thought that that was super weird, but... I just thought, you know what, I may as well give it a try, training for Field Hunter. And that's that. I don't know, guys. The next show for her is going to be the makeover. It's a little intense. But thanks for watching.